and welcome to The Lion Drawer, the TV show written and produced by the students at Los Osos Middle School. And now for our hosts, Matthew and Michael. Hi, I'm Matthew. And I'm Michael. And welcome to, to The, the Lion's Roar. Roar. We're in for the final few days until summer. Speaking of summer, we have a story all about the sheriff's camp. Do you want to escape from your family for a week? How about free food? Playing games outdoors? Then you should go to the Sheriff's Youth Summer Camp. It's, in Cayuca, it's at Cayuca School from June 27th to July 1st from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Transportation is available and all food is provided. But prior registration is required. There are lots of fun activities that consist of teamwork building and resistance skills. You can contact Deputy Korea for more information at 805-305-7187. Or you can email her at skorea at co.slow.ca.us. Hope to see you there. Now that looks fun. Yeah, but I can't wait for summer. True, but school is not finished yet. This week we have tons of awesome stuff planned though. For instance, on June 8th, the 6th graders are having a carnival after lunch. Really? That, that's really cool. And this weekend, the 8th graders have the fantastic farewell dance. Now that looks fun again. And faux show, sure, we will miss you guys next year. Definitely. It's a sad day. Not really for the 8th graders. Thanks, and don't forget about 8th grade field trip to the Ravine Water Park. And now, let's find out who the mystery teacher is. Take it away, guys. Hi, I'm Catherine. And I'm Taylor. And we're back with... Guess the teacher. Our last teacher's favorite food is pizza. The weirdest job this teacher had was testing artificial flavors in a chemistry lab. And their favorite hobby is still gardening. For those of you who didn't already know, it was Miss Pace. The winners were Miss Spindler, Mr. Angel, Miss Robinette, Miss Pace, and Miss Sainsbury. Also, Mr. Hotelling, Mr. Robinette, Miss Pedersen, and Mr. Jarvis's class. We didn't list a couple of winners from last time for Mr. Illig, so the actual winners are Mr. Hotelling, Yuhas, Pace, Mikey, Pedersen, Mr. and Mrs. Robinette's class. Also, Miss Sainsbury. Sainsbury. Good job on your guesses, guys. Now for our new teacher. This teacher's favorite thing to do outside of school is surf, mountain bike, and climb. This teacher's favorite place they have been is Stanley, Idaho. Much like their favorite things to do outside of school, their favorite hobbies are surfing, mountain biking, and climbing. Their favorite food is sushi. Their favorite color is blue. This teacher's best job they've had is on a research boat researching dolphins. That's super cool. Lastly, this teacher became a teacher because Al Gore told them to. Good luck and back to you guys in the studio. Oh yeah, that teacher was a hard one. Anyway, what about the yearbook distribution on the 7th? Well, I guess it's going to be worth $35 since that's a lot of cardboard. Awesome. June 8th will be a fun-filled day. Between web leader play day and the pizza on the lawn, the 6th grade carnival, it will be a great second last day of school. And I'm back. Just like that. Congratulations to Marsha Dismore and Michael Blanchard, who were named the Lions of the Year at the 8th grade awards night. Sorry, I may have butchered those names. I wasn't there to see it, but I heard that their speeches were incredible. Well, we're happy for their achievement and are excited to see them excel in high school. We are sorry to see them go and want to thank them for their contributions to the school. And finally, June 9th will be the last day of school. Don't forget that we get out at 1 p.m. Oh man, that's a bummer. Really, Matthew? Nah, just kidding. I'm excited. Now let's watch a segment on the sensational band concert. As you know, Loams is home to many musically talented students. And those students recently had the opportunity to showcase their instrumental skills at a band camp at a band concert at the pack. It was on May 25th and totally epic. I love the bass player in the 8th grade band. Wasn't that you? 
though I thought the seventh graders did great with the Harry Potter one, and the sixth graders were great as well. I thought they were loud, but fantastic not nonetheless. When the sixth graders played Quicksilver March and Prehistoric Suite, the other eighth graders and I were filled with nostalgia. Anyways, we have footage from of the concert. Let's watch it.
Wow, that was amazing. We are really lucky to have such a great band program here at our school. And on that bombshell, back to the studio. And thank you so very much for joining us on, on the, the Lion's, Lion's Roar. Roar. Woo! Yay.